Hey guys, in this video we're going to be installing Rancher on top of OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Now Rancher can be used to manage Kubernetes clusters. Now first before we do that we're going to install Docker and it's going to take us a little bit so you, if you already know how to do this on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed you can skip past this and some places also recommend installing Docker from the official Docker website. I'm installing it using Zipper using basically the OpenSUSE uh, repos which works totally fine. So in any case, I did run into one issue, and I'm going to show you how I sort of trouble shot that issue. But um, overall, it went relatively smooth. And uh, anyways, yeah, here you see the uh, installation of the Docker package. Here I'm enabling the Docker service. And uh, next, I am going to try to start it. So here you see start Docker. And here we see it failed. And so we're going to go first thing I'm going to do is just run status on the service just to see and yes we can confirm it is definitely failed gives us a little bit of info from the logs but nothing too useful so I'm going to run journal CTL so I'm just going to copy that command that it recommended that I run and paste it in here so we're going to run this and at first it's not going to give me a whole lot of useful info but it gives me this little hint saying hey maybe you should use this uh, with root privileges so I'm going to go ahead and try that with sudo so anyways, here we are, and um, after scrolling around through the logs and stuff, I eventually found this message, which um, complains about the network and um, you know so something to do with NAT chaining in Docker and uh, initializing the network controller, and um, troubleshooting that turned out to be a complete waste of time because um, I, I find, in the end, I ended up rebooting the system, as you see here, you know, sudo reboot, and then I'm just gonna ping it until it comes up. I sped this part of the video up a whole lot, um, but anyways, I, I sped up a lot of the parts of the video, like where I'm installing packages and stuff. But anyways, here I am SSHing back in, and it's gonna work, gonna be working completely fine once I've logged back in. So just bouncing the system fixed the problem. Shouldn't have to do that, but uh, apparently I did. I don't know the root cause of the problem yet, but uh, that ended up fixing it for me. So uh, in any case, run status, and we can see it's active and running. So it, it, it's working fine now. And um, yeah, I basically came to uh, I came to this after having troubleshot this for a while, and uh, you know searching for solutions and stuff. So, anyways, we can see uh, I can't see any when I run Docker PS. I don't have permission, so I'm going to add permission for my user to run Docker commands. So sudo user mod basically add my current user to the Docker group, and still no permission. So I log out, log back in, and I will then have the uh, I, it will then give me the uh, it will reflect the uh, appropriate group permissions and now you see I have permission to run docker ps and see what containers are running we don't have any containers running yet so I'm gonna try hello world just to verify that docker is working and um, yeah so it's gonna download this and I didn't speed this part of the video up but it should go pretty and there we go there's hello world docker that was super fast and so we can confirm docker is definitely running we see that that container ran and completed and um, yeah, so there we go. We have Docker working. We confirmed Docker is now working. So next, we're going to run another Docker container, but this is actual. This is the actual Rancher container. So this is how you quote unquote install Rancher. You can just ins run it as a container. And I sped this part up a lot. I, I want to say like twenty times or something. But uh, this took a little while um, because there's a lot of stuff to download for the image. But uh, in any case, run Docker ps a. We can see it's up and running. Um, yeah, so there we go. We have Rancher up and running now. Now it's not fully initialized, so basically here it should should be running on a standard web port, but uh, you see the site can't be reached. I should be able to access it from the host name. Now I cut away there and cut back because now it is loading. It just says your site's, your connection is not private because SSL is not working. So that first time I tried it, it wasn't working because I had to wait for the service to load and I, I was just trying to access it too soon. So after waiting, it now brings me to this page that says your connection is not private, which is fine if you haven't set up SSL certs yet. Now, um, <clears throat> yeah, so from that page, you can just say, hey, I know what I'm getting myself into and click and uh, you know, click the link as you saw me click, and it brings you to this uh, Welcome to Rancher um, page right here where you can actually set up Rancher. So it's going to tell you what to do to um, actually get your password. So um, 
yeah, you can run, it'll, it'll be in the Docker logs for your container essentially, but it gives you this convenient little command you can copy and paste. And um, yeah, ba basically Docker logs for your Docker container and just grep for bootstrap password, right? So here I am trying to copy and every time I do it, it says copied and I'm not paying attention to what it's telling me. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this eventually and, and notice it, there we go. So now I'm gonna paste that into my terminal over here because I wasn't completely paying attention to what I was doing. And here we go, Docker logs, container ID, I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna accidentally hit the enter button. So I'm just gonna rerun the command again. So there we go, not what we wanted to do. So anyways, I'm gonna copy the, uh, I'm gonna copy the container name. You could use the container ID or the container name and I'm gonna paste that in after Docker logs here, just like this. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that. It is right there. Paste it right in. And there we go, there's our bootstrap password. So randomly generated password. Now I'm gonna copy this whole line just to paste it in my notes. I'm doing that off screen. Then I'm gonna go ahead and copy that actual password too because we need that. So we actually need that to continue with the uh, installation. And so from here, we're gonna switch back to our browser and that is the wrong window there. But we're gonna move our browser, here we go. Here is our Rancher installer. We gotta paste the password in. We're gonna show it because why not? And then we're gonna log in. And here we go. So here we go. I'm gonna check the box. And just continue on here. Make sure we copy that new password. And now we're logged in. So from here on, I'm not doing anything super useful. I'm just we've got Rancher all set up. It's working basically. So um yeah. To get, we're from here on the rest of the video. I'm just going to be poking around the interface, showing you what's here, what what things are in the interface, and just giving you kind of an overview of what's here. But uh, I'm not going to be doing anything super useful. So you can see here we have like um, you know it gives us our Kubernetes version. Um, it shows you our clusters. We have this local cluster, and uh, you know it shows you what pods are running. It has a few running by default. How many cores it's using, stuff like that. And uh, you know you can click on the cluster, see information about it like pod usage, CPU usage, memory usage, that kind of stuff, um, the resources in use, the node, and uh, so on and so forth. Five deployments. Um, they're basically just the default deployments that came with the system. You can see like etcd and scheduler and controller manager are all all running. You can see all of these events that occurred in this nice event log here. You can click on one of these just to see what it looks like shows you some information about the event, right? And uh, what else here? So we can look at nodes, um, we can look at projects and namespaces. We have one project that's in the default namespace and uh, what else here? Yeah, a bunch of, uh, bunch of apps you can install. Um, definitely wanna try a lot of these out. So kind of, you know, once, once I, uh, I'm, I'm planning some future videos and some future testing where I'm going to actually do some basic service deployments and try out creating services. But then I'd like to just install a ton of these apps and features and play around with all these things. So these are all going to be like future videos I'm going to make. So after I test each thing, I'm going to record it, record what I've done and kind of show that in a video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon. So YouTube lets you know when we do come out with new videos and um, yeah, definitely something you're going to want to stay tuned for and uh, yeah you can see there's um yeah cluster management and uh you know cloud credentials drivers all that other stuff so a lot a lot of uh interesting stuff in here a whole lot more than i would even think about covering in this video today so uh yeah just tons of stuff to cover in uh, future videos so stay tuned for that and also for all the other great content we have coming out we have a huge variety of tech stuff we cover that we are going to be um you know publishing videos about but um yeah definitely we're gonna have more kubernetes and rancher stuff coming up so definitely 
any anyways um yeah so here this is this is kind of interesting harvester clusters so i i have not done enough with harvester yet that's another thing i've been meaning to uh do do a lot more testing with but uh yeah harvester clusters would show up in here as well if you connect them so you see like role templates we see the administrator role grant these are all the privileges that are granted if you grant someone the administrator role so you, this, this has everything you need to manage like users and groups and stuff like that and assign permissions and all that kind of stuff so you have extensions so uh we would have to enable support for that before we can even look at that so uh that's another thing for another day as well and um yeah, a lot of settings and stuff to look into. Here's the about info that just tells us like the version of Rancher that we're running and, uh, you know, when it was released and stuff like that. And um, what, what, what else? Yeah, so uh, CLI, yeah, options for CLI downloads. But um, yeah, that's mostly all we wanted to cover for today for this. So go ahead and hit that like button and you're, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on all the great content we have coming up. We'll also have a lot of great content we've already put out. So you're going to want to go ahead and look at that history of videos that we have and um, make sure you also hit the bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube's not going to let you know when we do come out with a new video. And again, you're not, not going to want to miss some of the stuff we have coming up. So yeah, definitely subscribe, hit the bell icon, and more importantly, leave a comment down below. Not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video, they'll see your comments and be that much more informed. Um, if you know something I don't know, leave a comment down below. Any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, we do want to hear it. So leave a comment down below. And um, as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video.